Hello, this is Mary with Using Your Smarticles, and today we're going to take a look at an interactive notebook page, and our goal is to lock down all of the movable content on that slide so that students don't accidentally move it. This strategy is called flattening. So on the slide that we're looking at here, you'll notice that um, most of the items on the slide are movable still. I, these are all different images and boxes that can be shifted around. And it's really my goal so that all of this is locked down and the students can't move or edit anything on the page, but they can click in a text box over here and type information that they need to. So step number one in this process is to identify all of the items on the page that you want to remain editable copy them, and then delete them. So we're going to demonstrate how that's done. In the case of this slide, it is these three text boxes. So I'm going to click on the first text box, and I'm going to use a little shortcut trick. Um, by holding down my shift key, I can actually click all three of the text boxes at the same time and copy them. And I'm using shortcut code control C, and then I'm going to temporarily delete them. If there were more elements on the page, I would actually go through keep that shift key held down and I would click every single element on the page and get rid of it temporarily. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to take a screenshot of this entire page. So I am using a, a MacBook and so with a MacBook it is command shift 4. Depending on what platform you're using you'll have to find the appropriate snipping tool. And you'll see that my cursor turned into a little plus sign. So I'm going to drag the cursor from the top of the slide all the way to the bottom right hand corner of the slide. And this is going to take a picture of only this slide. And now we're going to take that screenshot and add it as the background image. So then the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to add a new slide in here and I'm going to right click on the slide and I'm going to change the background. And what I'm going to do is use that screenshot that I just took and secure it as the background of the slide. You'll see that I can no longer move or edit any of the information on the page. And now what I'm going to do is paste back in the editable elements that we deleted at the beginning of this video. To paste, I use the shortcut keys, Control and the letter V. And it'll paste those items right in the same location that they were when you deleted them. So now I have a slide that students can't edit, but they can click in the text box and type their information. 